James tells us that we can count it all joy when we face trials because God is involved. Um, our suffering, our affliction, um, they are not cosmic accidents, they are not meaningless uh, afflictions, um, but they are used by God to accomplish divine purposes. So it's not that the affliction itself is a joyful thing, but that God uses the affliction or the suffering in our lives uh, for His purposes, which are ultimately our good. And what James is saying uh, in that passage is that God uses the afflictions in our lives when coupled with faith to make us more mature so that we can persevere. So when the affliction happens, if it isn't coupled with faith, a dependency on Christ, uh, it will bear no fruit. But as we depend upon God in the midst of those difficulties, um, God uses them to mature us. So I go so far as to say that if uh, a, a person, a man or a woman, will not be the person God has called them to be, that we can't get to where He is sending us apart from those afflictions and those difficulties. So we count it all joy knowing that God uses these things to bring us to a place of stronger faith and um, greater maturity. In fact, you know, Paul says in Romans 8 that um, God causes all things to work together for the good of those who love Him, to those who are called according to His purpose. Um, and I have people ask me oftentimes, well, what is, what is the good? How can I know what the good is? God causes all things to work together for my good. Um, is there an example? And in James, we have an example that um, it, is, it is our growth.